You know, many, many people in their lives tend to ask this question, you know, I, I, am I comfortable with my situation? The answer may be yes, no. Most importantly, the answer should be no. You cannot feel comfortable because being in your comfort zone is the worst thing. That leads to giving up. Once you're inside your comfort zone, you're giving up already. You're on the way to giving up. Because if you don't feel unco if you feel uncomfortable, yeah, that's a way of saying that you're on the right track because you're in an unknown place and you don't feel comfortable because you may be feeling anxious, sad, or you may be thinking that maybe I don't know where I'm going with this. That's totally reasonable. You don't know where you're going to succeed. You know what don't know what you're going to do. You know A and Z. You don't know what you can go through that will lead to Z. You're starting from A, yes. You want to get to Z. But that long road from A to Z, or from 1 to 2, is going to be very, very anxious. It's going to, you're going to feel uncomfortable. You're going to feel like you're sad. You're going to feel like you shouldn't try and do this anymore. That's totally normal. You're a human. Of course, we all strive for comfort. You know, many people ask this question like, why do I go to school so I can get a good job? Why a good job so I can get money? Why money so I can relax? Why can't I just relax now? Because relaxing now doesn't guarantee you a good relaxation in the future. Because doing something now does not guarantee that it will be there in the future. Unless you have something that reinforces it. What can reinforce that you're going to be relaxing your whole entire life? And your life shouldn't, you shouldn't strive for relaxation at, at all. Because people have dreams and goals, and those are just bus stops for you to co collect and refuel on your motivation, refuel on your good habits. You're practically on a road that's unidentifiable. There's no Google map. You can't find your A to Z on a Google map. In that case, you just want to, you may know the little shortcuts and everything, but that, that, that doesn't make human. That doesn't make a human human. We're all made to make mistakes, so don't be afraid to make them. So just never give up. And you know, many people tend to just say that uh, if I find something, if I'm looking for something good, I may find it. But many people just look for something bad. They're like, oh, I'm pretty sure there are going to be no seats or no one's going to accept me at a job. Yes, yes, no one will because you accept that. You expect that and you accept it. You should find some things that help you. And if you look for something that can help you, you will find it. It's like finding Nemo. You know, you're looking for him, you're not looking for everyone who isn't him. It's like trying to make mistakes on purpose to identify the right mistakes to make. No, make the right mistakes and make a path. Make a path that should or should not be followed depending on what the mistakes lead to. That's what life is all about. It's about making paths, pathways that no one's ever taken or people have taken. Making a little modification. So find something that helps. Leave burdens. Burdens are one of the most important things that will kill somebody, that will destroy somebody's success, mentally and physically and in life generally. Because burdens are the things that hold us back. They're like the anchors that keep us stuck to the ground and keep us stuck to our comfort zone. We can only go a little bit away from our comfort zone. Why? Because those anchors are stuck to it. Well, the easiest way is to either just adapt with the anchor and just pull it as far as you can, or you just cut the anchor. And that's just by feeling comfortable in any situation. Don't fake it till you make it. But also, don't let being comfortable look like an asset to you because it's 100% a liability. So leave burdens, 100%. You want to leave them because they will destroy you and they will tear you down. Because burdens are things that really keep us on the down low. They don't give us 100%. It's like if you 
destroy all of your burdens. Well, some of them, you are human. If you destroy most of your burdens, it's like unlocking life pro version. The pro, the professional version of life. So leave burdens. Look for something good and you will find it. We spoke about this. But this is in more detail. If you're looking for something good, you can find it. If you're looking for a, a way to go towards your life, you will find it. If you're looking for success, you will find it. Don't look for failure. Because failure will always come and you will always learn from it. Don't be, don't be happy about failing, of course. That sadness and that hurtfulness is what pushes you to your limits. Because, you know, life is 80% skill and 20% passion. If you don't have the passion, it's okay. But if you don't have the skill, you're gonna develop it. Everyone has a passion in some sort, so find that passion. And again, look for something good and you'll find it. Now, this is about the journey. The journey is an infinite, it's an infinite road. So what's the purpose of going somewhere I can't get to? No one's going to be the most successful person in the world. We all have bad things. We all are, are perfectly imperfect. Yes. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't strive for goals and achievements. That doesn't mean you shouldn't look for rewards. Don't work for them. Just look for them. And find a way that can benefit you by getting them. Because rewards are what are most important to many people. Because if you show somebody a reward, they'll they'll automatically be into getting, you know, doing anything for it. But then when you show them the task, they may come back. But if you start by showing them the task, then the reward, they'll go like, they'll search for the bad uh, part of, of this. Now, I'll give you an example. I'm like, uh, if you can climb Mount Everest and come back here alive, I'll give you $200,000. Everyone's going to emphasize on the $200,000 and the climb and the alive part. The rest doesn't matter. They focus on what's important to them. It's either their life or $200,000. People who are reasonable will go for their life. And people who just want the money real bad will go for $200,000. They succeed. They get it. They get a better life. But those people that didn't want to risk it, that wanted to stay risk-free are not going to evolve. So, find a way to get out of risks. But that doesn't mean you gotta live a life risk-free. Find a way that you can leave this treacherous hellfire or heckfire and you've just got to find a way to just immediately go away from these problems uh if i tell you if you give me a dollar i give you two dollars you'll be like i can't risk this dollar i've had it for you it's a dollar you'll get more more than what it costs if you tell me i'll give you a house I'll, if, you, if you give me a house and i give you five houses who benefits here? You. But many people don't look at the benefit, they look at the risk and the loss. They emphasize on the bad parts. So look at the good parts in life because those are the parts that really matter. So next is how do you do things? Why do you do things? And what can you do with those things? In life, you do things because it's a command from our brain. We do them for ourselves or for other people. And what we do depends on who we are. So, uh, for instance, I'm a, uh, I'm, an, uh, I'm a scientist. And I decide to invent something. Invent it for the world and for myself. There's a little bit of self-benefit in everyone. No one's fully clean. And then I decide, like, you know what? I want to uh, give some of this money for other people. So I did it for me and for other people. Why I did it, that's why. How I did it is the process of my thinking, my application, my mindset led to there being something new or different or great or nice. 
or even something horrible that destroyed the world. Hashtag Hitler. And what that means is that in life, you never know the outcome of something, but you do know the expected outcome. It's like putting in a code. Yeah, they give you the input and you know, here's the expected output. What you gotta do in the middle depends. You know, if you do the right things in the middle, you get sort of the expected output. But if you do something wrong, you get the not expected output, which is the bad output. Or sometimes the non expected output is a good input. It is a good output. So, really, it just comes down to you believing in yourself having belief system you don't have to just justify it just you know having a belief system and just uh thinking in a way that leads to success so today we discussed never giving up finding something that helps leaving burdens looking for something good and you will find it having a passion being risk-free looking for the good parts in life and always, always being successful.